Do you know what you have to have ready if you need to hunker down for a few days? Well, News 12 Long Island's Antoinette Biorti continues our team coverage with some advice from the experts. If Hurricane Earl packs a punch on Long Island, will you be prepared? We would be concerned. I'm worried. And hoping that it doesn't come this far. That's why this mother and daughter from Northport came to the Half Hollow Hills Library in Dix Hills to learn what they can do to get ready for a possible Category 3 hurricane. We heard about the storm and it gave us impetus to, you know, come and hear what they have to say about emergency preparation. Emergency officials say Hurricane Earl could affect power, so have a battery-operated radio and a flashlight on hand. Find out about a local shelter if you need to be evacuated. And have what experts call a go-bag ready with the following supplies. And this go-bag would be those medical items, some clothes, uh, some extra canned food, the water. But most importantly, they should make copies of some of their critical documents. Also make sure they have some cash on hand. So you'll want to have a bag like this around with a first aid kit, some batteries, and even a flashlight, so that way you're ready for Hurricane Earl or any other natural disaster. This is the kind of thing that nobody wants to think about. Nobody wants to really have to prepare. I say it's like drawing a will, buying life insurance. Nobody likes to have to prepare, but this is the stuff we really should be doing. Senator Flanagan organized this meeting and says access to information is also important. New York State's alert and notification system can help you get emergency information about impending weather through email or text message. In Dix Hills, Antoinette Biorti, News 12, Long Island.